Hello everyone, 15th of September 2023. So, I'm just going to chat about rats as I set up some more new Victor rat traps. Probably another load of them yesterday. And the ones with the American flag on, those are the ones to get. Because the Chinese ones made in China under license by Victor they're not so good. They do catch rats, they do kill rats, but only about 60% as well as these guys do. Okay, so I've spread the springs out. Staple them in place. Get your fencing staple. Put it in the middle of the of the, the spring arm like that and then hammer it home and uh, that helps to keep the mechanism in place it means it's not going to come apart in the future which sometimes they do next step is to hammer these staples through I've already got my bait pad there most important bait pad crimped onto the bait plate just a piece of towel, bath towel, crimped on under the tab, on the bait plate, and uh, that's what you soak in peanut butter. Most important. And so I've got my fencing staple in the middle. We've got the springs being compressed, which is good. It'll give the trap more power. And then we're going to just hammer these side staples right through like that. See I use the blade of a screwdriver like that and it allows me to get into these narrow places. Get these staples right through the other side. And then you want a hefty pair of pliers like this. And you just get on the edge of the staples and bend them over and that trap will never ever come to pieces. It's permanently set. And in the process of compressing those springs down, you've given the trap more power, that's for sure. 5%, no, I think more like 10%, 10 or 15% more power. Okay, the other thing I like to do is just to straighten that. That one's already straight. I may have bent that but sometimes usually when you get them out of the packet there the ends are curved up and I like them to be straight out because it means you can set them now this particular trap this staple here holding the bait plate on it's it's a bit high for me sometimes they are so I just like to if they seem a bit high knock them down a bit like that. and that way there's less likelihood of the staple coming out in the future and what I do on the other side here usually is um, I just get the grinder and grind those off those little knobs grind them off so that the trap sits really level and also very sharp so you don't want them to catch on you on your skin or anything you want a smooth surface under there. these ones are alright they're bent over I don't bother um, grinding them off but these two are very sharp and I grind them off to, to make them level so that's the trap now the average householder basically doesn't need to do all this except for that that and the anchor cord fit an anchor cord or I'll screw your traps to the floor do the bait pad and the average Householder who has a small rat problem. That's all you need to do, but with me I'm dealing with hundreds and hundreds of rats every year and I when I need to make sure that I can catch my rats with the least amount of effort I don't want to have to go back 
and rebate the traps and rebate the traps and finally catch the rat. I want to catch the rat every time, first time, first time, every time. So I do all these little modifications uh, to help me help ensure that I do catch every rat first time. Um, anyways, rats are amazing creatures. They uh, They never fail to come up with new tricks and they are tenacious and they are persistent and they work hard and They breed like flies, and anybody can trap rats. Just like anybody can get a chainsaw and cut down a tree. But, mm -hmm. if it's a big tree, and it's near human houses, beside human houses, for instance. Uh, then this is where you really need a professional tree faller to do this, because otherwise, if the amateur tries to fell a big tree, very often it goes wrong, and someone dies, or someone's house gets demolished, or someone's vehicle gets slammed or something like that the faller gets injured so anybody can cut down a tree but only if it's a nice easy tree and small and everything else um, or out in the open or this sort of thing but and it's the same with trapping rats. Anybody can trap rats. It's easy to set a rat trap. And it's easy to get the rat and throw it out and you've solved the problem. But, if you have a serious rat infestation in your house and it's been going on for quite a while, then the average person has not got a hope in hell of getting those rats out of his house. He might catch three or four of them catch one or two he might catch one or two every month but those rats will win if it's a well-established infestation they'll just keep breeding and making new tunnels and this sort of thing you got to get a professional in when it gets like that or well, your house is going to go down in value quickly dramatically and your standard of living is going to go down gradually to a very low level and some people actually move out of their homes because the rats win the war. And that's what Mother Nature has designed rats to do. To move into your house and make it into a rat's nest and preferably get you to move out. Then they get the place themselves. So get a professional in if you've got a serious infestation and it will be a very good uh, investment, a very good spending of your money well worthwhile okay so i'm going to plot on with these this trap and i'm just stapling the bait cup the, or the, the twins call this the bait hood i call them the bait cup an old cat food can but it directs the rat in and then i'm going to put three nails from in from the other side three sharp nails coming up like that and that trap will be ready to go. I've got to put some staples in the back here. Make sure this bait cup gets held in place. And that trap is going to be ready to kill rats very soon. Okay, so uh, thanks for watching. And uh, thanks for supporting my channel. See you in the next video.